Following up tonight as wildfire season winds down, crews are hard at work retrieving miles and miles of fire hose. Many of the lines are rolled up and used for the next call, but some hoses are too damaged for use. Tonight, only on NBC5 News, we're taking you inside a local nonprofit that is putting fire hose like that to good use. Each year, more than a thousand animals come to wildlife images to heal. Our main goal is to take in animals that have been injured or orphaned, try and patch them up and get them back in the wild. From badgers and bobcats to birds and bears. Hi, bud. If something needs mending, it happens here. But making broken things good as new isn't limited to animals. There's some hardware, some drills, some hammers, and some, some skill involved. <laughs> the nonprofit has found a way to upcycle fire hose that's no longer operational. We actually ended up with this adventure because the Medford Fire Department called us and asked us if we could use some of this stuff for enrichment or basically for toys for the animals. Two years later and miles of fire hose has been used to weave hammocks, toys and other tools for enrichment. They like to get their claws in these little tight pockets and fish things out. Animal care and education team leader Corey Alvis Allen says the items created by the donated material have now become a critical component of their care. One of the worst things that you can do is just have them be sedentary and sit, not use their mind, not really kind of work on getting their food and foraging. So this is exactly the counter to that. Their only wish now, the smallest, simplest of things can make a huge difference in their health. Is that more of it will come in. One of the things we love to do is take essential oils that are watered down and spray the fire hose items with those. So they become basically a big play toy, almost like a, a cat with a piece of um, catnip and it's a great time, but they do get destroyed. So having more fire hose to build new novel things is always good. It's unclear if the U.S. Forest Service will be donating any of its damaged fire hose. We reached out to the agency but have not heard back. Wildlife Images is crossing its fingers, though, that if there is any to donate, it will be a recipient.